baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking. Hey guys, it's Sharika, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, and I am on my way to get a pedicure. Finally, not the place that I wanted to go to. The guy is not available today. So I ended up making an appointment at a place called a dream here in Jacksonville. It's a really cute spot. Um, so that's where I'm going to go have a pedicure. And then after that, I need to go to the mall because I have a few things that I need to return. When I was in Orlando, I stopped by H&M because I needed a new white button down because mine had some stains on it. I prefer to get a linen button down, but they didn't have any, so I bought this other one. And then when I got back to Jacksonville, I went to the mall again, and they had the linen button down in our mall, but I didn't bring the other one that I bought from Orlando to swap it out. So I have to take that back. Um, but let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'll be wearing my Desi shades. This is how they look. And then I'm just wearing another set. Y'all know I got these sets a long time ago, so they're not available on the web. I have them in a few different colors, and I also have some from Nasty Gal that I got around November, December. And they're just like these, except they don't have like the elastic across the top. The ones from Nasty Gal actually has the zip up in the back. But these are so cute. I think I have like three different colors. I have this one, the fuchsia, I have a black one, but I don't have the top to the black one, but you know, you can always find a top to the black one if you wanted to wear it like that. And then I have like a dark emerald green or something like that. I can't remember if I have the top to that one though, because it's not in my closet if I do, but I thought I did, but I just paired it with my Gucci bag and then I'll just throw on some slides because I am getting a pedicure so yeah so before I head out I'm gonna go in the kitchen and make myself a little drink this is something that I'm really excited to try it's a coffee alternative um, from a company called mud water so thank you so much for sponsoring this video mud water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and four ayurvedic herbs Mudwater sent me their starter kit, which includes free samples of their vegan coconut creamer, a 30-day supply tin of mud, and a USB rechargeable frother. So Mudwater is just as versatile as your morning coffee without the anxiety or the midday crash. You can make it in a variety of ways. You can just add it to hot water. You can make a latte, just whatever you prefer. I'm going to make my cute little latte really quick. It smells like hot chocolate a little bit. Okay, it's not bad. It kind of tastes like um, hot cocoa and chai mixed. I definitely would have to add some more sugar and some more cream because that's just the way that I like my drinks. I like it very creamy, but not bad. Try Mud Water today and get 15% off their starter kit by clicking the link in my description box and using my code. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone. And if you don't want me. Okay, y'all. So I have everything that I need here. I think these are new because I've never seen these in the store before. The Milton Waffles. So I'm going to use these. Then you guys know that I have the cute little bunny ears that I found at Joann's. Really cute. And then I have the little eyes here. And then I'm going to use this little pink sprinkle for the nose. Of course, I have my strawberries here. They're all washed and dried. So now we're going to go ahead and melt the chocolate. I still don't have any parchment paper that's what I like to use 
but I don't have any, so I'm going to use what I have. Um, usually the candy melts, they dry really quick, but the better chocolate, I have to put in the refrigerator for a while. So I'm not too sure if these will work the same way, but I'm going to put my foil on a plate just in case I have to put them in the refrigerator. So let me grab... Just gonna slide a plate right here so I can just grab them in. Oh, this is a lot of noise. I can do it like this. Alright. Now let's get rid of the rain. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and melt my chocolate. All right, so I like to use this Crisco right here. So I'm going to move this to the side. And I'm going to pour a little bit in the cup, or pour a little bit in the bowl. Now, another thing that I like about the candy milks because they have like the white white this is kind of like um, a cream you know but the candy milks are white but they didn't have any more so I had to get what I could and also we went to Michael's and we tried to go to Target and I forgot today was Easter and I didn't really know that those places are actually closed on Easter I just thought they were closed on like you know Christmas Thanksgiving and stuff like that but everywhere was closed so, so we have the Crisco here um, I have about a tablespoon of Crisco I like to do 15 seconds at a time um, and just watch your chocolate if you're trying to do this at home just watch your chocolate but the best way to do it is the 15 seconds 30 seconds at a time and just keep checking your chocolate to make sure that you don't burn it and then once it's a nice creamy consistency then you can go ahead and dip your berries so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave so while I'm waiting for the chocolate to melt I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few toothpicks in the berries that way I can just gather the leaves up and just dip them like that so I don't have to really worry about too much cleanup after they're dipped so yeah So I dipped one already because I was trying to do a TikTok. But with this chocolate, I'm going to have to dip the berries twice, which I hate having to do that. With the candy milks, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to place it over here. And then once I give them the second dip, this is a strawberry seed. Once I give it the second dip, then I'll place it on the plate and pop it in the refrigerator for a little bit. Maybe like... 10 minutes if that you always want to make sure that your chocolate is smooth so that way you don't have the lumps on your chocolate then you just sit it down and go to the next one And you want to kind of space them out just because the chocolate runs because this chocolate like I said it's just so thin so that's why you have to dip twice all right these dry pretty quick so I might not um, put them in the refrigerator so this is how they look Let's go ahead and do the second dip.
Good morning. Today is Monday and I am on my way to the gym. And then I have a few errands that I have to run today. I need to take those clothes back to the mall. I need to go to Michael's. I need to go to Home Depot. Okay, y'all, so I just left the mall. I exchanged my shirt for a different size and then I bought two pair of pants. Hopefully they fit. If not, we'll be coming back to the mall. But I'm at Michael's right now, so I'm gonna go in here and see if they have um, the things that I need, the spray paint and then my other little DIY project that I want to start this week. So I'm going to go in here and see what they have. They don't have a sale going on right now. Damn, that's expensive. Okay. I need some of these. All right, y'all. I'm back in the car. They have the greenery that I'm looking for. Oh, girl, she cannot park. <laughs> but it's so expensive. It's like $16.99 for one stem. And they don't have a 50% off sale going on right now. But I Googled um, Hobby Lobby and they have a 50% off sale right now. So I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby instead. I also looked for the stone spray paint and I don't think they make just the black, the plain black stone spray paint. I did Google it and it looks like all of them have like specks of like gray or specks of beige in it. But I'm gonna go to Home Depot just to make sure. If they don't have it at Home Depot, I doubt they have it anywhere because they didn't have it in Michael's. Um, so I'm going to try that. Home Depot is right next door, so I'm going to go to Home Depot. I am on my cell phone just in case. Hopefully the footage is not too bad. I got lint in my hair and everything, child. I am so hungry. Um, I've been debating on whether I want to stop and get something to eat because I have some of that Trader Joe's fried rice that I love. I have some of that at the house and I was thinking about making that with some salmon, but I'm hungry now. So I really don't know if that's what I wanna do or not. Let me show y'all this lady girl, cause she, mm -mm. girl, look at how she parked. Now, come on, <laughs> this is ridiculous, girl. Uh-uh, she don't want nobody to hear her call, okay? gonna go in here and look for the spray paint and if I can't find the spray paint then I'm gonna just go ahead and head over to Hobby Lobby because they have the 50% off on the greenery that I need because I have a green wall on my balcony already but y'all know me I love to be different so I love to host things at my place and now that it's a little warmer I plan on doing some stuff on my balcony so I want to have that green wall done um, I found this like a while ago on Pinterest and I it was during the colder months and I just did a screenshot and said that, okay, I'm gonna do this once it gets hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that done. Um, I still don't know exactly all I need to do as far as, um, as far as 
um, attaching it to the wall. I'm going to just call it like a little jungle wall, but it's so cute. I'll pop up a picture right here. That's what I want to do on my balcony. And um, so I need to get all this stuff. But I'm not going to buy it because I need so much of it. I have to make sure that um, I get that stuff on sale because it can be really expensive, especially the ones that look real. I have to make sure that I get that stuff on sale because because the ones that I was looking at in Michaels is like seventeen dollars for one. Girl, I ain't doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby, but I'm gonna run in here real quick to see if I can find a spray paint. The guy next to me is all in my business. He all in my business. All in my cafe over there. Okay, girl, let's go. that I have on my patio. I also get those from um, Home Depot. They have some really pretty plants in here. Okay. I'm looking for the spray paint. Let's see. Okay. So I know what I'm looking for. But I don't know if they make it. see every spray paint except for that one. Okay, let me show y'all. So this is you see the like how the texture is. Y'all excuse my nails because I had to use like a little um, scrubby thing and it scraped my nail polish off. But um, see how it has that texture? This is a good one to get. But they don't have black. If I would have kept it this color, it would have been so pretty. what I picked up because I told y'all that right now Hobby Lobby's florals are 50% um, off so I bought some more twigs the ones that I have up front are artificial twigs so I can like bend them however I want to but these if you bend them you break them so I bought two packs I'm gonna put these in my front bathroom. Y'all know I'm obsessed with those little twigs. I just love the way that they look. And then um, the leaves that I found, what are those leaves called? Let me see if it has the name of them on here. So I just ended up buying like a bush. So these were $14.99, 50% off of that. And these are the little small ones. But I'm going to have to get the ones from Michaels because the bigger leaves that they had like this were a bright green. Y'all know the ones that I showed you guys in Michaels, they were the same color as these. The dark green, which is what I'm going for, the look that I'm going for. But I could still use these. So I'm just going to have to, you know, cut them off and just put them up on the green wall. I bought two of these. Can y'all see that? <laughs> two bushels of these so this is how they look in the inside so again I'm gonna just cut them off I have to use my husband's um I might not have to well yeah I'm gonna have to cut them off um but see they have like the bunch like see like right here this one has maybe like six on them so I could just clip this right here I have to just get my husband's wire cutter and um, do it that way. This is going to be a very long process. 
I've seen the ones where it's just like the top of the green wall that's done and it looks really good. Like I've seen that at a restaurant on the beach. Um, and like I said, it still looks real good. I want the full wall. So it's going to take some time for me to do it. I don't know when I'm going to start it. I might start it like this weekend or sometime this week. I might get it started. Um, but it's going to be fun. I think it's going to look really, really good. Okay, so when I was returning my items in H&M, I found this. It's called a string bag. I found this little string bag in H&M. And I just thought that this would be really cute. Like if you're going to, hold on. like if you're going to the farmer's market or something to get your fruit, you could use this bag. So this is how it looks. Let me go put some fruit in it. All right, so I have my fruit. And you guys can use this, like if you just wanna go in the grocery store and grab you some fruit, like when I go to Sprouts and stuff like that, I can take this when I know that I'm just going in there for my fruit. But this is how it looks. It's so cute. Look. Oh and you can just walk around and get your fresh produce. Because y'all know I do a lot of juicing. And so I could just go in there, take my little baggie, and put my fresh produce in this. You know? <laughs> I'm going to cook my salmon in my air fryer. I love this air fryer, y'all. It's just like... It's so good. Let me make sure it's clean. Yes. It's so good. And like you can... Put your stuff in here frozen if you want to. I don't really do that. My husband do it sometimes, but um, you can cook anything in this, okay? I love it. So I'll link this in the description box below. Um, ever since we've had this, I haven't cooked my salmon on the stove since I've had it because I just love the way that it cooks my salmon. Um, but let's do, I'm gonna do grilled. And it does preheat for you and then it'll tell you when to add your food in. And then I also took my, let me push this over some. I also took my blender out because my son always makes smoothies. And he made one the other day and I really, really liked it. I usually don't like smoothies, but ever since I tried his, I've been making strawberry banana smoothies. This time I'm gonna add a little bit of pineapple to it. So I'm getting ready to do that now and just sip on this while I'm waiting for my fish. Once I put my fish in, then I'll go ahead and start my rice because it doesn't really take that long. my salmon with garlic powder, smoked paprika, Tony's um, salmon seasoning, and lemon pepper. And that's it. I'm going to let this cook and I'm going to cook my rice. Okay y'all, so here's lunch. So I have my fried rice. I added some broccoli and then this is the salmon that I cooked in the air fryer. Y'all, it's so good. I'm telling you. I will link the air fryer in the description box, but you guys need to get your hands on it because I'm telling you. It's bomb. <laughs> but yeah, this is lunch. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my lunch. I might edit a little bit and I'll probably pick y'all back up tomorrow. <laughs> 